Hi folks, Harry Frank for Gray Machine here with a little quick tutorial on using the Adobe Media Encoder to render your After Effects projects. Adobe Media Encoder works directly through the dynamic link that is in, uh, sort of weaves together a lot of different programs with the Adobe Production Premium Bundle. Uh, it can link together um, Adobe Bridge, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere. Uh, but it can be used uh, to encode directly from After Effects composition. So let me show you how this works. Or remove an old project here. There's two ways you can add projects. You can simply go up here to File, Add, and you can select Add After Effects Composition, and it gives you an interface that looks like this, where you can browse through and find your stuff. So let's say I go to my folder here that has this composition. Um, I've got two compositions in here, so I've got to select one because I can render one composition or one pro uh, composition in one project at a time. Um, but if I wanted to stack them here, I could certainly go in and add them separately. It is kind of a bummer that there's no way to render multiple projects, or, you know, drag and drop multiple projects at the same time. But you can select multiple uh, presets at the same time. Now, the QuickTime presets are pretty lacking. This is one thing that took me a little bit to figure out. Now, if you want to encode to an MP4, an MPEG-4 encoded as a H.264, there's a lot of great presets in here. But let's say you want an MOV file that's encoded with uh, ProRes or something like that. you got to go to QuickTime, and then uh, you'll have to actually create your own preset. I've created one that I uh, use called QuickTime ProRes. But basically, you have to go through and then set your video codec and check all your settings. Make sure that uh, the width, height, frame rate, field type, and aspect are all set correctly because all these presets here are actually using uh, DV presets, which use, um, quite frankly, I think some dated uh, uh, settings here like uh, field separation and aspect and all that. But once you get that set, select two of these, set them both to ProRes, you can set the destination. You can even, in the settings, go to your FTP settings here, dial in FTP settings, and upload directly to an FTP server when you're done rendering. Um, so once these are all set, you can simply hit Start Queue, and it's going to start rendering these. And I can jump back into After Effects, keep working, and uh, be twice as productive. Um, let me stop this, stop queue. I would not like to finish and I will remove all of these. So one way I showed you is going up here. You can also just drag and drop and this will give you a little bit different of an inter uh, interface here. So if I go to my tutorial thing here, go to particles, uh, it's just gonna give me a simple dialog box like this where I can select one project or one composition from one project and set it up the same way. Start queue, start encoding, jump back to After Effects, and there we go. So, quick tip on using Adobe Media Encoder, uh, just something you might not have known about. Uh, it's an alternative. There's other uh, background rendering utilities out there like Nucleo Pro from Gridiron Software, and also a great one called uh, BG Render or Background Render from Lloyd Alvarez. You can find that on ediscripts.com. But if you've already got Adobe Media Encoder, this is just one more way to stay productive. So my name's Harry Frank. Thanks for watching.